With regards to the uh, regularization issue of 11,666 uh, 1, uh, adult teachers, uh, this issue has been taken up by uh, the cabinet several times. So uh, the Honorable High Court in an order dated 28 July 2017 had suspended operation of two uh, specific uh, memorandums, office memorandums of the BNAR department. There's one memorandum dated uh, 4th August 2008 and another memorandum dated 11th August uh, 2016. So both these uh, um, uh, memorandums deal with uh, of uh, regularization issues. So post this, the PNAR department has asked us not, asked the department not to send any cases of uh, proposals for regularization till the, the matter was resolved by the Honorable Court. So then, uh, in the case of these, uh, in our 1166 uh, adult teachers, uh, we had uh, submitted the case to the uh, cabinet multiple times. So in a meeting that the cabinet held on 29th August 2018, they had taken up uh, this particular issue and, and they had decided that they would they would uh, not take it up until the uh, uh, court court issue is resolved. Then further again on 3rd October 3rd October 2018, uh, where uh, this issue was again taken up and then the cabinet decided that they would be granted scale pay, sixth uh, revision of pay uh, of 2010. So uh, scale pay has been granted to them. Post which uh, the government had uh, filed a writ petition in the Guwahati High Court uh, uh, against the Guwahati High Court order dated uh, uh, 3rd, 3 August 2018. And uh, the division bench uh, dismissed, on, uh, dismissed it on 7th February 2019. So after that, uh, there was again a representation from uh, the All Nagaland Adult of Teachers Group, this 2015 batch, uh, which, which was given to us and we, we sent it to PNAR. So PNAR told us at that point in time, if, if a particular uh, uh, employee uh, had been appointed and uh, he or she had completed 10 years of continuous service, then they can be considered for uh, regularization as a one-time measure. So in this particular instance, since they all of them belong to the 2015 batch, there was only one employee, uh, to the best of knowledge, who had satisfied this criteria. We had sent the uh, case to uh, the uh, um, PNAR uh, and it's currently under process there for this this particular person who had completed 10 years of service. So uh, in the recent uh, past when uh, the ANATG had uh, met us, they had given us an uh, ultimatum in the month of July and uh, so they were, they were citing three different cases. Uh, one uh, corresponds to uh, the home department, another corresponds to PWD department. Now both these instances we, we've referred to PNAR but PNAR has turned it down saying that this, these, these are slightly different cases where uh, the post will cease to exist once the person who's currently holding the post retires from service. So we had again referred it to PNAR, but this is the is, is the reply that we had gotten. Uh, I mean, if, if you look at the, so there were, there were two specific points that they had mentioned. The Honorable High Court in its judgment and order dated 3rd August 2018, uh, passed in petition 145K of 2017, directed the state government not to regularize any person on the basis of mere completion of three years of continuous service on contract or ad hoc basis. The judgment was subsequently upheld by the same court uh, and it's order dated 7th February 2019 in uh, red petition number 16K of 2018. Uh, we've also sought the uh, opinion of the Advocate General and the Law and Justice Department in this regard. Uh, the reply is still, still awaited. So that is the current situation of this particular case. So we'll be requesting all our teachers to, to go back to uh, 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 the schools and resume their classes. We've also notified that this uh, this uh, during the period of the agitation, it would be considered as uh, their absence will be treated as dies non, and uh, the principle of no work, no pay will be imposed. So we we be collecting the attendance uh, of of the teachers, the eleven hundred and sixty six teachers. We have their list, and uh, we also know the schools where they are working. So uh, we're collecting the attendance. So all these days that there are no agitation, we will have to. Uh, uh, you know, impose no work, no pay principle, and, and this will also constitute a, uh, you know, it go, it'll go into their service books. Because it's, it's not that the department doesn't want to help them, but be constrained by the judicial pronouncements from, from regularizing their service at this point in time. So with regards to the youth resources, that, that particular document has not been given to us, but with regards to PWD, they had they had indeed submitted, which, which I had earlier referred, Home Department and PWD. We had sent that uh, to PNAR, but PNAR saying, is saying that those are different cases. 
they're not they're not exactly cases of regularization so so that's the response from PNIR that has come through. So this is purely because of the uh, uh, standing uh, court judgment. So if the court judgment is vacated, we would be we be able to uh, consider and and and, and uh, regularize their service. But then, unless and until the court judgment is vacated, we are in no position to regularize the service. So the court the court judgment came in uh, after after this. So uh, because of that, there, there was even even if we had declared, it's not going to help us. So since there is a standing court order at this point in time, it's, it's, it, it won't make a difference. Mm -hmm. For okay. this particular batch, this would be the first case. Mm -hmm. So there have been there would have been instances in the past with regards to this. But again, the whole point is the the standing court order, which which uh, you know prevents us from going ahead with the regulation. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem. So which we we've had multiple conversations mm -hmm. with this group, and we 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 even encourage them to go to court so that. The court or, uh, order can be stay can be vacated and their their regularization can come through. But then until and unless the high court order is vacated, we are in no position to. Like, but it's not that the department doesn't want doesn't consider the case or doesn't understand their plight. But we are we are in no position to go against the standing court order.